morning guys! Today we woke up with the most beautiful weather in San Miguel Azores so we're gonna take this opportunity to go and do the most beautiful excursion in the whole of the island we're gonna head up to Sete Cidade, which has a beautiful view of two lakes that are sitting on a dormant volcano we've got a couple of viewpoints to hit and then we're gonna go see the town as well and maybe if we have time the uh, southwest of the island but this is meant to be the most beautiful excursion, the most beautiful view. And so I'm really excited to see it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna have an amazing time. So let's go. First viewpoint, it has an incredible view over the two lakes, so this is a must uh, see when you're coming up. And then there is also an abandoned hotel that you can kind of like explore and also go to the top to see the views. So that's what we're gonna do next. It's definitely really cool for photos and stuff, but you have to be really careful because obviously it's abundant, something can fall on your head. You need to be really careful whether you step on, don't touch anything. So just be very mindful. Um, I'm not, it's not my cup of tea, so it's definitely a bit of an adventure to go in. But my family, my brother and my dad are really enjoying just like exploring the whole thing. Um, definitely can come, come see it because it's just next to the, the viewpoint. So you don't really need to like drive up or anything. It's right there. So might as well check it out. But yeah, not everybody's taste for sure. <laughs> We made a second stop um, to go to a viewpoint called Miradoro do Grotta do Inferno and this one is the one that's meant to be the most beautiful one so I'm excited. We parked up there and then we have to walk a little bit until we get to the viewpoint. We made it to the top of the viewpoint. The beginning of the walk is fairly easy, it's just like flat 10 minutes, but when you reach to the top, there is a bit of an uphill in like mud, so you do need to be careful, take your time, but it's only like a five minute walk up. And then when you reach the top, you've got these amazing views and you've got this famous walk all the way to the end. Um, obviously it's like the most popular point in the island so it gets busy but you do need to make sure that you come on a sunny day we were really lucky because we can see all of the lakes right now and it's so beautiful <laughs> This one is Lago do Canario, which is literally just a five minute walk down or less by stairs and you it's on the way to the other viewpoint and a lot of people just miss it because they think it's a long walk but it's actually not so definitely recommend coming down because it's like a green lake really beautiful you can hear the frogs in the background which is 
incredible, just, just surrounded by nature, so don't miss it. After seeing all the viewpoints, we drove down to the town of Sete Cidades to have lunch and we walked around the beautiful lake, soaked in the views and just had an amazing time enjoying the beautiful town and nature. But the adventure of the day hadn't finished there. We then drove to the west coast of the island and the beautiful sea views go with you along the ride and there's so many places where you can stop to take photos. And we finished our day in the natural swimming pools of Ferraria which are these natural uh, swimming pools formed by volcano rocks that lead into the sea. So usually you're able to take a swim there um, because the volcanic uh, activity makes the water warm. Uh, the only problem is because they are leading to the sea, if the tide is high and there are waves, you will not be able to go in because it's dangerous and also the water will not be warm enough. So you have to go on a day that the tide is low and there is no big waves. So that is it for this itinerary and in my opinion this is the best one day itinerary you can do in San Miguel Azores. We actually had an amazing time and the views were more beautiful than I expected and I say this because I don't want you guys to go to just the one view that is the most famous one. I think you should stop by all of the views that I pinpointed in this video. I will leave it down in the description as well so that you can stop over because in between each other it's only a few minutes drive so you might as well see all of them. Also so that you know all of these viewpoints were free, the walks were free so you won't really have to spend any money. I do think that if you want to go to the natural swimming pools in summer and they are open you might need to pay but I don't know because we couldn't get in unfortunately um but yeah that's gonna be everything for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to give the video a thumbs up if it was useful and subscribe to our channel because this is only the first video we're making in authority we have so many more coming up i can't wait to share all of our adventures with you thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video